Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, 85. Thank you for being with me. Thank you, Lord, for being with us. Our Heavenly Father, our Savior, I, we pray to you. And we thank you for these words, Jesus, that you gave us. Come to me. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you shall find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my load is light Lord I just thank you in your presence we can find peace and rest for our souls we bring our life before you yes Lord speak to us and speak through us we pray and may we see your great love more and more God, that we may love you and give you glory and honor, now and forever. We pray in your name, Jesus, our precious Lord and Savior. Amen. You know, uh, sometimes life uh, can seem to make us hard and not always feeling. And, but so many times I go to God's word and hear his voice and it just softens my heart. I hope you do the same and find that same thing. And, and I just had read before I came to you uh, from uh, God's Word again, the words recorded of, of Jesus in Matthew chapter 26. And Jesus said this on the night before he was crucified. For us. And this helps to tell why he sh his body, signified by bread, was torn apart before and on that cross. And why his blood was shed to the point of death for you and me. Jesus told why before he experience that horrible crucifixion that we're reminded of we should be reminded of every time we look at a cross how much God loves you and loves me so Jesus said this to his disciples It starts like this, Matthew 26, 26. Now as they were eating, uh, Jesus took bread. And after blessing it, broke it. Like his body was broken. And uh, the book of Isaiah tells us that it was broken so much he didn't even look like a man. After they got done beating the, beating him so much. Isaiah 53, I believe it is. It foretells that crucifixion of his beating and hanging on the cross for us. And after blessing it, Jesus, after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Broken for you and me. To bring us to him. As he says, come to me. He was saying to us, come to me. As he died on that cross for us. Died on the cross for us. And he took a cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink it, drink of it, all of you, even the one that betrayed him, Judas. 
I believe he said the drink of it. He desired him to save him from his sins just as much as the others. As he desires Jesus, God desires to save us from our sins. All the world, every nation. God desires to love everyone and have. He does love everyone. He proved it on the cross. But he desires everyone in this world to love him. He desires that. He proved it by dying to, for our sins so that he could make a way for us to, to take away our sins and give us his righteousness so that we would not be separated from God anymore or have an eternal relationship with him. So Jesus said, drink of, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant. This is the agreement. That when we have repent of our sins, turn from our sins, and turn to God, Jesus Christ, to be our Lord, the owner of our life, and our Savior, who died in our place on the cross, bearing our sins, he paid the penalty for our sins, and that he rose from the dead and lives today. And we invite him in to be our Lord and that Savior who died in our place. God agrees to come in us and save us and forgive our sins forever. That's the agreement. When we repent of our sin and have faith in the Son of God, Jesus, and that he died in our place and rose from the dead. We have an agreement. He will forgive our sins and we have eternal life with him. Forever. Nothing can change that. As this song, Battle Belongs to the Lord, uh, reflects uh, God has the victory. What God has accomplished, what he has agreed to, he will always accomplish. This is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. It's available to all but it's poured out for many because uh, not everyone will accept this this fact. And if you have accepted it you can be thankful because <laughs> God gave you that faith to accept this. It was a gift from God. For by grace, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, I believe says, For by grace, for by grace ye are saved, you are saved through faith. In this not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, least any man should boast. And uh, let's play this little bit of the song again. Okay, The Battle Belongs to the Lord, written by Jamie Owens Collins. Thanks for writing this, Jamie. <laughs> you ever see this? Thanks for using E minor. If, uh, if that's the key you wrote it in. <laughs> I like E minor.
Jesus. You defeat that power of God. Lord and strength. I'm gonna these scriptures also. Jesus spoke this uh, before he was crucified, the night before he was crucified, also to his disciples. He said, It's recorded in uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world that Jesus that lives in you says this to you. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. Don't worry. Put in God's hands. Believe in his power and strength that he gives you. Oh God, I, Jesus says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. It says, I have overcome the world. And who is in you? We're reminded of that in 1 John 4.4, 4, God's word, 1 John 4.4. 4. And this is the King James Version I'm using. Ye are of God, little children. <laughs> God calls us little children. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Again, I read, read from 1 John 4, 4. Ye are of God, little children. You're God's child. You're special. You have a special power. You have God living within. We have God living within us. We rejoice, oh God. May we rejoice in that, that fellowship that you give us, oh Lord God, in your love and strength and power, oh Lord God. Most, mostly your love, I say. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Whatever trouble you have, you are a victor in God. Even in death, when we leave this world, we are a victor in God because the sickness of this world can only kill our body. It cannot kill our soul that God is saved and, and, and lives with God forever. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Thank you, God. And thank you, the other verse you tell us, you have overcome the world. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Thank you, Lord God. May we go and realize we go wherever we go, wherever we are, we have you with us. Lord, and you have won the victory in this world. And we can stand strong in your strength with faith in you. And go through anything in life. For we